at first, my freshman year, people were telling me, you're so brave for coming here, and I was not sure why they meant that. And then everybody for fall break, my freshman year, left. So I lived in O'Donnell, and I looked down the hall, and there was nobody, and like looked down the other side, and there was nobody there. So it was really lonely. But now that I have my church family here, they're, they're always here. Language barrier is the most evident one, especially if someone doesn't really speak English that well. Finding someone that speaks your native language is also something that makes us really happy. Because then we're like, oh my gosh, you speak Spanish. Vamos a ver en español adelante. But then it doesn't really happen that often. Um, being away from family and friends that you've known your entire life is also pretty hard. Not knowing the city having to do all the paperwork that we have to do with visas and immigration and finding out how you're going to get home and when you can get home and doing that in advance because you want to save money for airplane tickets it's a hassle. It's this really awkward moment I had a friend introduce me to one of her friends and back home when you ask a person for the phone number it's just because you want to have it in case in the remote chance that you're going to talk to them. But over here if a guy asks her for her phone number it's kind of like asking them on a date. So I remember asking her friend later, just, you know, for her phone number, just in case I needed to talk to her for some reason. And then she was really not okay with that. And that was so funny. At the moment, it wasn't. It was really awkward and weird. But then when she found out about that, it was just very, very funny. The food is also something that I really, really w wish I could have here. Um, but it's okay, I suppose. It's just different than what we usually have. But I know all the restaurants back home and I know which ones are good, which ones are great, which ones are expensive but worth it in certain times. And just coming here, I don't really know anything. I have been sick for the past couple of years. And doctors are still struggling to find out what's wrong with me. And they have some ideas and whatnot. But I was a person that was really self-sufficient and I thought that I could handle everything myself and I could take everything that I needed to take care of and I didn't need any, any outside help. And for the most part, that was true. But I think with this um, condition that I have, God gave me something that I couldn't control just so that he could show me that I don't have to depend on myself and sometimes I don't have to be strong. That is, it is okay to be weak because his power is made perfect in my weakness. Jesus is stronger. Our shame was great. Cornerstone Church, um, the way they do services reminds me a lot of the way we do services back home. And I know that for the other international students, um, the way they do services too reminds us of the way we do services back home. So just the similarity and the familiarity of the people and the culture and the formality of the, how the service actually progresses throughout the morning is something that I find welcoming just because it reminds me of home. I've been able to surround myself with good people that care about me and just being busy too with school has helped me a lot to kind of take that space that I had for my family and not replace it but be able to fill it with other things that keep me busy. Cornerstone on three. One, two, three. Cornerstone!